about grade sevens, Helen here, and that means I am delivering your next natural sciences lesson. I hope you're excited to learn more about the national electricity grid. Now, understanding about our national electricity grid is what every responsible citizen should be able to talk about with knowledge. So this is an important part of your syllabus because it allows you to make decisions about how you use energy, where our energy comes from, and that it's important to make sure that we waste as little energy as possible. So in talking about the national electricity grid, I want to remind you that you have learned about this in previous grades. So some of this will be familiar to you. What do we mean when we talk about a national electricity grid? Let's break it up into each of the terms. A grid is what we call a framework or a network system. So have a look at this example. This is a social media network. Let's pick anybody. Let's pick this person. This person in this social media network is in contact with that person, that person, that person, this man, and that person. Those are their direct contacts. But this person is also indirectly in contact with that person and with that person and even with that person. And we can see that these little lines show us a network. And it's a system because everybody is in the process and is able to communicate with each other. So when we talk about an electricity grid, I want you to, in your minds, substitute each of these people in this picture for a different part of the process that makes and distributes electricity. And not just in your town or in your city or in amongst your friends, it's national. So it's the whole country. So it's like the whole country working on Facebook or on Twitter. Everybody is part of the network. But this network is not about spreading information. This network is about making and spreading electricity. So the national electricity grid refers to how electricity is generated. When we talk about generated, we're talking about how it's made and how it is supplied, or another word for dis um, supplied is distributed or shared out to consumers all over South Africa. So the consumers are the people that are using the electricity and it's national, all over our country. Now, let's just quickly clarify what we mean by a system. In your definition of a system, we must be able to say that different parts come together to perform a particular process. And usually in a system, we have input energy, we have our process and we get output energy. And you've learned that sometimes this output energy is useful and sometimes it is wasted. So what we're doing in terms of looking at our national electricity grid is we're looking at this network system of supply and use and distribution and we're seeing how all the parts work together. We need to know what our input energy is and how we arrive at our output energy and we also need to be aware that some of our output energy may in fact be wasted. So now let's substitute our social media network for a picture showing us the national electricity grid. 
Now, we don't have arrows in this picture. So I would like us to add some arrows in to show us where the electricity is generated and where it is distributed to. So we've got a power station and we've got consumers. Where is the electricity generated? Well, we know that coal is used in the power station in order to generate electricity. So we need to show our arrows as moving from our power station where it's generated out along our transmission lines. To transmit means to send out. All right, so we're sending out the electricity and then we're going to get to substations where the substations are going to distribute or share out the electricity to some of it's going to this little town, some will go to another town, maybe to a big city, and then it's distributed again to the individual houses, shops, businesses, factories, schools, all of the consumers. So we understand that this is what our national electricity grid looks like. Now, why is the national electricity grid a system? Remember our definition of a system. We've got many parts coming together to work a process in order to get work done. We must have input energy. We must have output energy. So if that is our definition of a system, does it apply to the national electricity grid? Because if you read in a textbook, it says the national electricity grid is a system. Well, let's see if we can prove it. There are many parts that come together to work a process. We've got a power station, we've got coal, we've got transmission lines, substations, and all of us consumers. So yes, we do certainly have different parts coming together to perform the process of getting electricity to our consumers. Is there input energy? Well, our coal is our form of input energy. Is there output energy? When you click the switch in your house to put the lights on or to boil your kettle, that is our output energy. So we can prove that the national electricity grid then matches our definition of what a system is. Now, the, uh, there's a little task here. It says label parts of the grid diagram. Let's start with A. Electricity generation. Where is electricity generated? And that word generation means made. Where is it produced? We know that electricity generation happens here in our power station. Electricity transmission. Do you remember what I told you transmission means? It means sending out. And the electricity is transmitted along these lines. It is a transport system, if you want to think of it in that way. Electricity distribution. Distribution means how it is shared out. And here we can see that at the substation, we've got distribution. So transmission is slightly different to distribution. Transmission is just moving the energy from the place it was made or generated out to a substation. And at the substation, we have distribution because here the electricity is going to be shared between different towns and in one town between different houses or different places of work.
So finally, our consumers are the people who are going to use the energy. So in very simple terms, our national electricity grid makes electricity, sends it out, shares it amongst users, but we give it fancy names. Electricity generation, electricity transmission, electricity distribution, and electricity consumption. Big names, but if you use them, you look very, very clever. Now, let's compare parts of this circuit with our national electricity grid. You have learned in previous years that a circuit, an electrical circuit, is a pathway on or through which electricity or current can flow. So in our circuit, we have a little cell, or you may want to refer to it as a battery. We have a, um, a resistor, which is in this case a light bulb, which is our device that's doing useful work. And we have a switch, but we also have cabling or wire that is going to connect the different parts in our pathway. Now let's compare this very simple circuit to the national electricity grid. And let's start with what is the source of energy? Well, in our circuit, the source of energy is the cell. And remember, we commonly say call it a battery, but in proper terms, it's a cell. If we had a number of cells, then we would call it a battery. So our source of energy is the cell or the battery, and it is in the form of chemical potential energy. What about our national electricity grid? What is our source of energy here? Is the source of energy the power station or is the source of energy the coal? Remember that the power station is a device that is simply going to uh, convert the coal into electricity or the energy from coal into electricity. So our source of energy is in fact the coal. And what is coal? If we had to use a, a description, it is also chemical potential energy. So a simple circuit is relying on potential chemical energy and this big national electricity grid is also relying on chemical potential energy, but in a different form. Now let's do the comparison between the circuit and the national electricity grid in terms of transmission of electricity. Let's start with the national electricity grid this time. We know that the power station converts the chemical potential energy into electrical energy, and that energy is transmitted by the transmission lines, which are made up of cables and wires. The wires and cables start very large and they become narrower and smaller. In our circuit, we're looking at the wires. They are transmitting our electricity. In terms of output, well, the circuit is very simple. The output is the light energy, but the output in the national grid can be many different things. It could be light energy, heat energy, sound energy. And what about the switch? Well, the switch turns the light on or off. Load shedding is when the power station stops the distribution of 
electricity to you, the consumer. And so there we've made a comparison between an ordinary little light circuit and we've made a comparison to the national electricity grid. More about the electricity grid in our next lesson, but for today, goodbye grade 7s. Thank you.